Hi folks, welcome to the video. If you've watched my previous video on how to clean up the start menu, uh, creating shortcuts of your own, and using alt codes, and in this case a bullet alt code, which is uh, alt 7, to create a prefix for the uh, shortcut name, so that it all your uh, programs that you use all the time remain in one list and aren't divided by these letters and so on and so forth. And thank you very much for watching that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. But in this video, we're going to show you how to do uh, virtually the same thing, only create shortcuts for uh, your music, your favorite music, and put them in a folder uh, for the Windows Start menu. This is handy if you don't use uh, Groove Music, because in Groove Music you can uh, pin the items to the Start menu. But to use the native Windows uh, Media Player, um, we can create a folder and put shortcuts to playlists in there and then you can have uh, a bunch of your music, your favorite music, in the, uh, in the top of the uh, Windows 10 Start menu. And we're going to use an alt code, alt number 3, that actually creates a heart um, character at the beginning of the uh, file na folder name, I should say, and that ends up that just happens to end up in the top of the hierarchy here uh, and I don't know why if you google alt codes and play around with a few alt codes you'll find how they how they sit in the hierarchy of the uh, of the start menu according to name anyway so let's get to it all you need to do is open up a Windows Media Player in library uh, form and select an album or individual songs or whatever you'd like and drag it to the uh, to the playlist pane and create a playlist and then save it as uh, um, as a playlist and name it how you wish I'm just gonna name it that Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and then that playlist will be saved to your music folder in a folder under the name of playlists so there it is. Now, um, on that um, playlist shortcut, right-click upon it and hover on Send To and click on Send To Desktop, Create a Shortcut. And that's going to create a shortcut of that playlist on your desktop. Okay. Now, um, what you're going to do is rename that, rename that shortcut again, if you wish, I'm going to leave it at that, but I'm going to take the extension off, and that'll be it. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, good enough for now. Now, um, you are going to navigate to C, Users, Owner, App Data, or sorry, Owner, whatever your name is, that just happens to be my username, App Data Roaming Microsoft Windows Start Menu Programs. Now, inside that folder, you are going to right click an empty spot and click on new folder you're going to create a new folder and you're going to name it alt 3 which will give you the heart symbol and then a space if you like and then music okay now that's going to create a folder to uh, house all the shortcuts that you're creating so take that uh, shortcut to the playlist that you just created and put it in that folder and then you will see that it becomes a uh, new playlist inside your uh, should play it any moment now yeah it's playing now you can go one farther if you'd like and give it an icon so open up your favorite browser again go to Google images and uh, type in sergeant uh, pep <laughs> Here we go, Sgt. Pepper's album cover. Okay, now click on search tools, click on size, and click on exactly, and then look for 500 by 500 pixels exactly. And then you should get all kinds of uh, submissions. Uh, click the one that, uh, that looks the best to you. Um, decent colors, but not too bright, so the icons actually in the start menu they look a little chintzy and they don't come out in full size so just pick something normal and save image as blah, 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 blah. if it prompts you to save it as do so 
We're just going to save it to the desktop. And we are going to make that downloaded image into an i.ico file, an icon file. Okay, now I have a uh, converter built into Windows, but if you don't, all you would need to go is go to your favorite browser again and go to image.online-convert.com and convert your um, JPEG image or a PNG, whatever it happens to be, to the ICO format. Simply choose the file, click on the file that um, you downloaded as your album cover image, and then simply uh, click on convert file. And when it's done, you should have an ICO file on your desktop. And Windows uh, latest preview build is not working too good with uh, rendering uh, images on the desktop. I don't know what's with that, but anyway. Now, in order to use that uh, icon file, you need to um, keep it in a certain place so that when you apply the icon file, that the path to that file is not broken when you apply it. So we're just going to take both of the, uh, these images and we're going to pop them into the uh, folder where, where this music is located, okay? And we're going to keep it there just so the path isn't broken. Now, um, where were we again? We need to go back to that folder where we have those playlist shortcuts. Okay, now we're going to right click on that shortcut. We're going to click on properties. We're going to click on change icon. We're going to browse to that folder for that icon. And there it is. It'll show you're using it. Click OK. Click apply. You might have to give your uh, administration uh, administrative permissions to do so. If so, click continue and click OK, and then you're done. Now, when you open up your start menu, you should have... Now, watch, I'll pin this to the start menu, and they, they do look kind of chintzy in tile form because they won't go uh, like a full image on the whole tile. But you can identify them, uh, not only by the name, but by, by the picture, sort of. So that's how you create um, shortcuts in your start menu for your favorite music. And you can create the playlist as long as you want and just put a few in here. Or you can uh, create many, many playlists and put all kinds in here. And uh, that's how you go about doing that, folks. It's very easy. It's kind of helpful. I like it. I like having uh, the music there. Put all my favorite music in there and just click on them. Good to go. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.